Hello, Aquarius. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and I do hope all of you are doing well. Now, this is your monthly tarot reading from March 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and please subscribe. And as always, take what resonates, leave the rest. So let's take a look at your cards for this month. First week here, Aquarius. Major Arcana card, death. Second week, the Knight of Wands. Third week, Major Arcana card, the Tower. And your last week, the fourth week, Major Arcana card, the High Priestess. Wow. Three Major Arcana cards. You've got change coming in. All right, Aquarius. Well, this is your moment. I already see which card you're getting for your third week, and we'll get to that. But wow, this is your moment with a big planetary shift this month. You're going to feel it hard, not necessarily in a bad way, but you're going to feel it. So starting off your first week this month of March, you have the Major Arcana card, Death. It certainly is not physical death, but it is the end of something. And that's kind of the biggest energy that's going to be coming in for the month of March, which is going to affect everyone. Something that has been in place for a long time could possibly come to an abrupt end. So with the death card right here at the beginning, is already indicating that for you, Aquarius, I feel it's going to be like good riddance. So this certainly could be the end of a job, a relationship, any number of things where uh, possibly where you're living, what you're working on. It's getting rid of something that was causing you a lot of frustration, draining your energy. And so definitely this first week here, there's something coming to an end and you'll end up better off than you were. But at the time this is happening, it could be very intense is what I'm picking up. So, but this death card is the completion, uh, the end of a phase or cycle. So let's take a look at your clarifying card. And you have the page of pentacles. Well, this is hearing some good news, really trusting your intuition because that's what it's going to come through. So I think for some of you, you're going to hear some kind of good news, direction. You're going to be heading off in the right direction. Uh, that, might, um, that might be leaving someone or something behind. And that's going to be the end of it, kind of plain and simple there. Now, your tea leaf card, and you did have two fly out, so I took them both. You have wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. And then you have lightning, control your anger, or you will be sorry. Well, this is in conjunction with the death card here. There is definitely something um, coming to an end. So there is someone, as it says here, like coming between you and a friend or coming between something you want. If it's between you and a friend, kind of like either way, you're just going to end it with this person, this individual. You're going to see right through them. And the card here, lightning, is warning you to control your anger or you'll be sorry. You're above that, Aquarius. You're a very intellectual person. You're going to handle that in a most diplomatic way, almost by giving the least amount of reaction. It's really going to drive the other person crazy. So... That's how I think you're going to handle it. It's just going to be ending it, and that's it. You're going to have nothing more to do with that individual, and that certainly could be in the work environment. It could be within your circle of friends, um, and you're not going to act out. You're going to handle it very calmly, but there will be no turning back. There will be um, whoever this is that's causing like some kind of problem for you. Will never be. You, you'll never trust them again, so to speak, but... This week, you are getting 
maybe some good news in regards to something. So someone might be a little bit jealous of possibly what's coming in for you, Aquarius. Second week in March, you have the Knight of Wands. And you see in the background, the volcano is smoking. It's getting ready to erupt. So there's something that is starting to emerge. It's starting to come together. And we're getting closer to that third week here in March. Knight of Wands is a very adventurous kind of energy. It is bringing in change and movement, possible travel for some Aquarians. Definitely just looking for adventure. So you could be moving on from where you're currently living or moving on from a job, moving on from a relationship, and you're going to be absolutely fine, Aquarius, because you're ready for the next adventure. Clarifying card for this. Major Arcana card, the sun. Beautiful. You're going to have happiness. You're going to have good luck. You have this number 19 here with the sun card, which reduces down to 10. So again, confirming that something in your life is coming to an end. Again, it could be a job, relationship where you're living, something you're working on, something you're involved with coming to an end. But then you take that 10 numerology, reduce it down to one, and there's new beginnings. And that's what the sun card is in reference to. And this knight of wands here, there's change coming in. There's movement coming in. So certainly picking up possibly for some of you, this is going to be blessings in disguise. Maybe getting laid off from a job. But yet you're going to find something that's so much better that you wouldn't have found or pursued if you didn't lose your existing job. Tea leaf card for this week. You have angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Whatever this is that's ending, whether it's a relationship, your job, where you're living, whatever it is that's coming to a close, it is the best thing for you. As you've got the angel card here where you're being guided. So Aquarius, be sure you're really trusting in your intuition this month of March. Um, especially here, getting that card in the second week because you're being protected, you're being guided, so the universe has got your back. You're heading off into something very, um, very adventurous, something new, very adventurous um, energy. All right, third week. Here we go, Aquarius. This is your moment. On the 23rd, Pluto is moving into your sign, Aquarius. It has been in Capricorn for the past couple of decades, and that's in regards to like big money, institutions, uh, you know, huge companies, banks, things of that nature, and it's moving away from that into your sign of Aquarius. And more, that's more of a free-flowing humanitarian kind of energy. So you're going to start seeing things fail and disappear and crumble. Companies that have stood the test of time are going to start to disappear, so to speak. So with this happening in your sign of Aquarius, you have the major arcana card, the tower. And it is striking. Most of the time, the tower card is striking the very top the most recent thing that you might have put into place, but look at this. It's striking something in particular. It's directed to a certain part of your life. So the lightning is striking a certain part of your life that needs to change. So that could definitely be in regards to a job or a relationship where you're living. It's very particular because the rest of your foundation here is absolutely fine. It's intact. Now, this is really an unusual tower card because it's usually hitting the very top, the last thing that you put into place. And that's not the case with this card. So the messages are a little bit different. And I almost feel like these are, um, I, I, it is, this almost looks like yods. It's not debris. I almost feel like it's divine blessings happening and just kind of indicating it was meant to be. So, if this is 
the ending of a relationship, you are not meant to be with that person. And if it's the ending of a job, you are not meant to be with that job. There's something better. And you do have this number 16 numerology to the tower card that reduces down to seven. That is a very spiritual number, but it's also in regards to challenges, things that you might be dealing with that you have no control over. So if you get laid off from your job, you have to find another one. But you have beautiful cards and energy here where you're being guided. So make sure that you're really trusting in your intuition, even if your logical side, your rational side, Aquarius, doesn't make sense of it. Follow your intuition. Clarifying card for the Tower card. And you have the Five of Pentacles. Yes, I feel something's going to happen where you're going to feel uh, left out in the cold. It could be someone breaking up with you. And you might think that's a bad thing at first, but it is blessings in disguise because you will eventually meet someone so much better. And when you look back on that relationship, all that's going to come through is, boy, was I making a big mistake there. So five of pentacles is that feeling that, wow, you know, I just got dumped or I had to end this relationship and it didn't go well. Or, you know, I got laid off from work. So now I have to find another job. But this stained glass window here, that's an indication. That's in conjunction with your angel card, your angel tea leaf card. You're being guided. You're being protected from harm. So you're not going to be without work for very long if that is the case there. Now your tea leaf fortune card for this week you have Rose, and look what it says. Romance is in the air. Beautiful card in energy. For, so for those of you that are getting dumped, so to speak, or you know you have to end a relationship, do so. Because the Rose card is already coming in in this third week. There's someone better. There's someone else coming in. So this is really being open to meeting new people. Let the new love come in. And that could certainly be the lightning strike. It could be in regards to a particular relationship that you're not meant to be in. Same goes for a job or possibly where you're living. You're not, um, it's not meant for you. There's something better. So very um, different tower card with it striking, not the top, but right strategically in a certain um, area of your life. But that certainly is the messages that I'm getting. Whatever this is, it was, me it was not meant for you. Last week here, you have the Major Arcana card, the High Priestess. Very, very strong indication to follow your instincts, no matter how much your logical, rational mind conflicts with it. Aquarius, listen to your gut instincts, your intuition, go with it. You're being guided. So high priestess is an indication to trust your intuition as there's things kind of working behind the scenes that you're not yet aware of that are going to pop up and you need to go with your instincts on it. So this card's very much a strong indication to form a tight bond with your higher self, which is listening to your inner guiding voice, which is your intuition. Clarifying card for this, you have the major arcana card, the empress. So the empress is coming in, creates the environment, the situation, the timing for abundance. So it depends on what you're looking for, Aquarius. If you're looking for a job, you're going to be able to find one. If you're looking for love, certainly your rose card here already, romance is in the air. And then also the empress the time is right to find someone new, someone that's better suited for you. And then on top of all that, the three numerology with this is an indication that something is coming together for you, Aquarius. So there's new beginnings, a new direction, something new is going to emerge and it's going to replace what the tower here is getting rid of. Last message here is your tea leaf card. You have spear and it says heartache over what you no longer have. Wow. 
This could be second guessing yourself here, Aquarius, and I wouldn't do that. This definitely is a message where this could be a love affair. This could possibly be a business opportunity or a financial opportunity. There could be something that you feel you were left out. It's kind of a leftover energy here from the five of pentacles. Maybe by the fourth week, you're still not seeing the dawn of the new day, the new energy, because all you have to do is trust in your instincts and intuition and you've got the Empress card creating uh, the perfect environment, creative abundance for you. And that's going to be in regards to relationships, a job, where you want to move, whatever it is you're striving for. So don't second guess yourself, Aquarius. Know that things are not only going to work out for you, they're going to be so much better. So Aquarius, that was your tarot card reading for the month of March. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to subscribe, help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Aquarian family.